Good afternoon, people watching. I'm 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the Gospels in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Once you accept Christ as Savior, the Holy Spirit indwells in you. The moment you accept Christ as Savior, the Holy Spirit indwells in you. The Holy Spirit leads you and guides you into all righteousness. The Holy Spirit changes you. You're no longer the same. The Holy Spirit will lead you. And most of all, the Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption. Not only are you saved and rapture ready, but he seals you, which means you will not lose your salvation, period. I got to come on here this afternoon and give you the, uh, there were back-to-back -back earthquakes this morning. One in Alaska, 7.0, and I do believe the, GSU, uh, the USGS makes it, doesn't put the right magnitude in there. I think these were higher. There's a 7.0 quake that hit the Alaska Peninsula and at the same time, Haiti. 7.0 back-to-back -back earthquakes. I haven't known that to happen. Back-to-back -back earthquakes that rattled both Alaska and Haiti this morning. According to Reuters, 7.0 earthquake struck the Alaska Peninsula southeast of Perryville but did not generate a tsunami warning and was a depth of six miles. According to the Sun, the tremor comes just weeks after a massive 8.2 earthquake sparked tsunami fears in Alaska and Hawaii July 29th. This is in the so-called Ring of Fire in the Pacific Ocean. This is where the majority of the world's quakes and volcano eruptions occurred. Now, when I looked at that this morning, I got the warning. Hawaii had a small one. Like a few seconds later, Hawaii had a small one. California had several ones. These were small, but nevertheless, they happened. This is because uh, this is where many of the Earth's fault lines are found. Three volcanoes are also simultaneously erupting across what's called the last frontier, with at least two spewing low levels of ash and steam. This quake was followed shortly by another magnitude 7.0 earthquake that hit Haiti. And from what I'm hearing on, um, let me find it, I think it's on Fox News, that there were uh, there's casualties in Haiti right now. I figured if they, if Haiti got a hold of that, they'd, that's a big one. That, that would probably uh, hurt some people. Um, if not, unfortunately, kill him. Um, so I'm keeping track of that. Um, I will be back if anything else comes up. And by the way, you are going to want to look at my blog because, um, I got something on the blog that's, uh, that is, uh, related to Homeland Security issues and terror threats and so forth. So you're going to want to look at that. Actually, it's off of Jeffrey's, uh, site. But I will be back later with the next video. Thank you.